Umar, lines open for you, man. What's happening? Oh, okay. I, I, I want to expound on that globalization thing. Mm -hmm. Specifically talking about your show, because I, I think one of the calls I made a, long, a while back to you was about one of the mistakes I see social justice warriors make. Mm -hmm. And I say that proudly, because that's another thing. We got to stop letting people say social justice. Yeah, it's a pejorative. Right. Exactly. Later for that, I, I got a T-shirt with, with a Superman symbol that has an SJW on it. Later for everybody else. Say word. But I it. think that there's this tendency to look at globalization because corporations and rich and let's face it, conservatives use it so tactfully. Mm -hmm. It's like the internet. We there's this big fear of them with that with, with all the opening of the internet and the government to bring. But I'm saying, but well, that that cut in another way. Mm -hmm. They have given us the tools to let's say. Have a Benjamin Diction start a YouTube channel. Have get up to four thousand followers. Now, let's say for example, we, we there's a lot of anti-progressive YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. But when you go look at their numbers, what their numbers are willing to do, what the Donald Trumps and the and the Republican base is willing to do, is throw their dollars at those people. Mm -hmm. Now, with globalization, I believe that the uh, the the comparative to the, the GOP in Europe is are they, are they the nationalist party? I'm not clear exactly, <clears throat> but I know they have the same split politics we do. Right. Between a, a conservative and a progressive effort. But the conservatives are always willing to spend it and throw their money. Right. But what they open up for us is the opportunity to do it too. If you go to all your conservative channels and here's something simple watch their commercials yes they're annoying take off those commercial blockers because <laughs> while they only get but so much that's only true of people with a small number but the more their numbers grow that that those pennies add up give a dollar five dollars to the patreon mm -hmm. if half of the people i see who are subscribed to channels that support those channels we'd be as big as the conservative uh, as the anti-progressives right because i know some conservatives are progressive but you know they won't own the image they put out mm. themselves. You, you're absolutely right, so, man. I'm, I, you know what? I have to call myself on that because I even, I, I'm surprised. I don't even know what ads look like. I get surprised when I see them now. I'm like, what the hell is this? And it's because I took off my ad block just long enough to run my own ad, which is, it's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Take off our ads and support other progressive movements. And because the same, the same pipeline that has been open to them is open to us. There may not, um, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say that there's the same amount of wealth at our disposal as the alternate view, but I don't think that should be reason for us to doubt our potential, right? I don't think that should be reason for us to slow down because there is wealth out there. There are there are resources out there, um, and if nothing else, our collective um, wealth together, putting our pennies together across the board could do a lot. You know what I would have compared to? I would compare it to the last election where you had um, the Koch brothers and and, um, and and Roger, not Roger Ailes, um, um, he just bought the newspaper out of Las Vegas, uh, Sheldon Alderson, you know, they put in tens of millions, a hundred, you know, they, I think um, the top one, those guys in the top 1% almost put in half a billion dollars collectively but they still could not beat the individual contributions and the the power of the individual. So uh, from that perspective, I agree with you. I definitely, definitely agree with what you had to say. Now, I, I hear what you're saying. But consider this. The Coke brothers and everybody are able to do it quicker. Mm -hmm. And you right. know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a mantra as soon as I get, get my things together and start doing my own YouTube channel. My mantra is going to be progress is slow. Mm. It is not that we don't have, we don't have that, Instant millions, but even though there in some ways, because I, I, I find when I listen to them, a Richard Branson, while very corporate, is very progressive. But what I'm saying is, yes, we don't have the Koch brothers, but we have a collective community. Does anybody have any idea how many progressives uh, intersectionally? Mm -hmm. There are the Black Lives Matter. Yeah. There are the LGBT. There are the... The, uh, the, the Jewish people who are realizing, hey, you know, the way things are going, I'm messed up, and we need to do something about this. There are these feminists. There are the, you know, there are so many progressives out there. Right, right. But we're not collecting our community. Yeah. We're not coming together. You know, like, a progressive gets in trouble. 
do the other progressives jump on their side? Now, there's an argument you made about the disagreements we had, Jumper. That's a whole – you don't need another show for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree. I, I agree with you. I, I, I like that. And and I think that's um, I, I think that's something we should point out consistently as we go forward. Um, not not – not to take your your slogan, but you're right. Progress is slow. Like there is slow. Let's just use my show as an example. There is very slow and consistent growth, healthy growth. Right? It's not quick. Right? Nothing. Nothing I've done on my show has been quick. You know, I my first my first live broadcast was zero people watching live. Right? And then there was my mother and my brother watching live. Right? So and even though we're only at like 50 people live on YouTube and then 60 people live on Spreaker, whatever the case may be it's slow and we've been steadily going there but i think there's there's value in that because it's healthier it's um it's it's developmental right it 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 produces a more mature child uh an adult right you don't want someone who you don't want a child star to get out there and put out there so early and so quickly because it can backfire on the movement. So that progressivism is slow is not necessarily a bad thing. And actually we could argue that it's really a good thing. And don't forget it might be slow, but it's far more powerful. Absolutely. No, no matter, I, I know it doesn't look like it, but progressive is, is, I think the one thing Democrats, the biggest mistake they made, in the midterm elections is not owning the stuff they accomplished. Right. And progressives are so guilty of that. Oh my goodness, do I hear so much complaining? I was like, but I was like, okay, try to understand this. Um, who was well, who was the brother during slavery? Who was uh, the, the abolitionist? Really famous. Um, I'm sorry, I, I I blanked out for a minute. <laughs> I, I keep thinking, I'm thinking Christmas Addicts, but that's the guy that got shot. That, that was in the, uh, the, the Boston the, the the Boston Tea Party was Christmas Addicts. Uh, which one? Say it one more yeah, time for no, me. This is the brother, but I'm saying Frederick Douglass was it. But can you imagine that? Can you imagine being a little kid standing at a time when the Lord said, "You get the voice of the woman, you're penniless. Get out. You get nothing." Right. Right. Wow. Right. Can you imagine the brothers and sisters who stood up doing Jim Crow? Yep. Progressive, you've changed stuff. Do you remember where, where the LGBT community was about 20, 30, 40 oh, yeah. years ago? Yeah. Where they are now? Yeah. We got to own these things. Yeah. I'm going to let you true. go because I got things I got to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be sure to link us to your show, man, so we can support you when you roll it out. Totally. All right.